we will see misconceptions and common mistakes related to commutative property of addition, subtraction, multiplication and division of whole numbers. Misconception 1. Teacher asked a question in the class. Is the subtraction of 77 and 33 commutative? Sarah answered, yes, while Roshan said, no, as an answer. Who gave the right answer? 77 minus 33 is equal to 44. Students also start thinking that 33 minus 77 is also equal to 44. With this misconception, students think that the subtraction of whole numbers is also commutative. With the same understanding, students think Sarah's reply is the correct answer and they choose option 1 as the right answer. This is an incorrect answer. The correct understanding is that 77 minus 33 is equal to 44. However, 33 minus 77 is not equal to 44. In fact, the result is a negative number, minus 44. We will learn about the negative numbers in the upcoming chapter. Since the result of 77 minus 33 is not equal to 33 minus 77, the subtraction of 77 and 33 is not commutative. With this understanding, Roshan has given the correct answer. Misconception 2 Is 6 divided by 3 equal to 3 divided by 6? It is a common misunderstanding that, just like addition and multiplication, division is also commutative. With this misunderstanding, incorrect answer yes is chosen. To find the correct answer, we must compare the results of 6 divided by 3 and 3 divided by 6. Let's find the result of 6 divided by 3. Suppose you have 6 lemons. If you wish to make 3 equal parts, then each part will consist of 2 lemons. So, the result of 6 divided by 3 will be 2. Now, let's find the result of 3 divided by 6. If you have 3 lemons and if you wish to divide them into 6 equal parts, then how can you do this? Think for a while. You must cut each lemon in half to make 6 equal parts. Since each part has half lemon, therefore, the result of 3 divided by 6 is half, that is 0 0.5. Now, if we compare the results of the two, then it can be understood that the values of 6 divided by 3 and 3 divided by 6 are not equal. Now, let's understand some of the common mistakes related to commutative property. Often, students know the commutative property. However, they don't use it for simplifying the addition or multiplication. For example, the addition of 3 and 9 is done in the given order. Whereas, it is difficult to add a larger number to a smaller number. However, by changing the order, the result of addition can be obtained very easily. Similarly, multiplication of two numbers like 3 and 9 is also done in the given order, which appears difficult. But if we change the order, then the same multiplication turns out to be simple. Therefore, it is very important to have a better understanding of the commutative property. Today we saw misconceptions and common mistakes related to commutative property of addition, subtraction, multiplication and division of whole numbers.